we know a little bit now about the communication lines between neurons, that they are powered with electricity. We also know that the messages neurons exchange are chemical molecules trapped inside these holding tanks until an electrical signal frees them. The molecules that move from one neuron to the next are called neurotransmitters. In the last decade, we detected transmitters that carry messages about pain and pleasure, about sadness and joy, about stress and relaxation. No one knows how many of these molecules of mood reside in the brain. There could be hundreds. So far, fewer than 50 have been identified. Serotonin is one of them. It's the brain's workhorse molecule, playing numerous roles, not the least of which is to inhibit our violent tendencies. Noradrenaline plays a Paul Revere kind of role. It sounds the alarm about threats from the outside world and prepares us for fight or flight. Substance P is a molecule that carries messages about pain. In a sense, Substance P is what prompts us to cry, ouch. Conversely, our brains produce painkillers, called endogenous morphines or endorphins. Neurotransmitters play a critical role in normal functioning, and yet it's easy to disrupt our chemical equilibrium. If electrical impulses go awry in the brain, the chemical transactions that are so dependent on them also go haywire. Mood disorders and mental illness can result. Change the level of a single neurotransmitter and it could upset the chemical balance of the entire brain. 